all-out warfare as Plum Plum's funeral erupts in chaos. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! The graveside recession for a reggae girl, Tarania Plum Plum Clark, turned into a chaotic stone throwing scene on Sunday evening, December 22nd, at the Medora Cemetery in St. Catherine. The incident, which left several attendees scampering for a cover, resulted from a dispute over the size of the grave and her coffin. The mayhem started sometime after 4 pm. Plum Plum's coach at Excelsior High School, Xavier Gilbert, says when they arrived at the graveside, the 20 year old footballer's coffin could not fit into the grave space. Either the casket was too big or the, um, the hole was too small. One of the two. So we had problems getting it down. And then um, we had to wait, so we weren't getting sufficient words. The undertaker couldn't do nothing. So we were trying to take off the handles to ensure that it fit in. He says persons became disgruntled that prior measurements of the grave and the size of Plum Plum's coffin were not done. Mr. Gilbert says this eventually led to an altercation between employees of the funeral home and attendees. There were some throwing words between undertakers and some persons about whose fault it was and why the wall was so small and um, that argument escalated into pushing and fight and suit. And then stones started throwing. Then after the pushing, we saw some men coming with stones and just throwing stones. And then it was an entire, like an entire community. They start coming and throwing stones and all of these things. And they locked the gate, they couldn't come in. He said the altercation resulted in a bus carrying students from Excelsior High School being damaged and other funeral recessions at the cemetery being interrupted. They threw stones and mashed to chop one of the windows out and break the glass. So, I'm scared. So they locked the gate and uh, because another thing that started to, to, to get disturbed now because they were throwing stones all over. Now, like I said, they were coming from all different angles. Some persons were throwing back stones because they were just throwing at the funeral procedure. They weren't they were even, you know, looking at, I mean, their women, their kids, there's so many persons there. Apparently, I wasn't, I wasn't close by, but apparently, I heard shots fired. I couldn't tell you who and, you know, because I was, I was focusing on ensuring that the, the burial procedure was completed. The football court says following the initial incident, they were able to finish covering the grave with the help of one of the funeral home employees. However, he too was chased soon after by more persons throwing stones. It got worse because after we put it down and what, there were one of the undertakers from the rest who were assisting us in covering the hole and everything. And then there was just some men run coming throwing stones at us with stones and machetes. So he just ran away and then you know there was some cement that was mixed so we I must give credit to some females from water football team who assisted them so that we spread the cement and covered it properly. You know? So that was and there's um, about three young men from, from the community where she lived who assisted them so that, that procedure was completed. There are unconfirmed reports that there may have been exchange of gunfire between police officers and mourners. It is also being alleged that a funeral home employee was stabbed and others may have received chop wounds. But none of this has been confirmed by the police, who are yet to speak on the incident. They might act like they might have gone, actually. They might have gone, actually. 
Yeah, Paul is going that way. Paul is going that way. There are also voice notes accompanying video clips in circulation on social media of other mourners who claim to have either witnessed the incident or was affected. Yo, I'll be a go on in a brother. I'm a rest in a brother. See? Be a go on, mother, mother, but I got gone back at tranquility in a brother. What do you do? Be a I go on up there now, the, 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 uh, some man will come keep finna and stab up a, a, a one of the man where I bury, I bury, I bury, bury, I bury the people them because the hole must be too small for one casket and the man them stab up the man where I bury the man up there so and then think them can war with the whole community Yo brother, that you don't even know me man that don't bury no be Yo be a gunshot, be a gunshot for your murderers, be a gunshot be a stone and chop up on them they are going be a gun shot off of the people that get shot up. Eh? Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying, until next time, walk good, my friends.